Welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to keep your software updated using GitHub. So I'm mostly using Linux um, and I want to keep my software up to date, but um, sometimes the newest version of software isn't updated in Package Manager very quickly or we don't get, we don't get the newest versions basically, or maybe we want to access uh, some uh, beta version of different software. Uh, so I'm just going to show you how to use GitHub to um, basically keep your software up to date. So here I have a sleuth kit that I want to install from GitHub. Uh, it does have a GitHub repository, so uh, we can just go there. And I've already installed, I'm running Linux, I've already installed Git, and Git works on you know OS X, Linux, Windows, uh, so you can do this for any operating system. Uh, so if we just type git, you can see that it is already installed. And in Linux, I'm in my opt uh, directory, and I'm going to basically clone uh, sleuthkit into the opt directory. So what I need to do first is get the sleuthkit code, so I can go to the sleuthkit github uh, repository, go to clone or download, and then select uh, the way that I want to clone it. I'm just going to basically copy this clone with HTTPS option. Um, yeah, okay, Th this is one of the easier ways. Okay, so uh, I want to make sure that I'm getting uh, clone with HTTPS instead of download zip. Download zip will just give me the files, um, but I will have to re-download uh, the files every time I want a new version, and I want to use git to be able to manage these files for me. So I'm going to select clone with HTTPS and select the entire uh, URL. Go into opt and then do sudo git clone and then uh, the sleuthkit um, uh, uh, repository. Okay, then it asks for your password because I'm, uh, yeah, so opt. So then it's receiving all of the objects. Uh, Git uh, sleuthkit is relatively big here, so I'm going to let this run and come back in a second. Okay, so now that's that that that's done, uh, we can see that we have the sleuthkit. So I can do cd sleuthkit. And then I have all the sleuthkit files here. And inside the directory, if I want to try to get the newest version, then we can just do git pull, git pull. Oh, yeah. sudo git pull. Uh, I don't want to do sudo. So first, uh, because I'm saving it to opt, I need to do one thing. I need to do sudo ch own uh, my account name with the file. So what this will do is, um, Instead of letting, making me, forcing me to run everything as, as sudo or as the administrator account, um, I'm basically owning everything with my account, uh, and then I can actually access everything. So, uh, in this case now, if I do git pull, then it will go out and it will search for the newest version of the sleuthkit software. So then it says already up to date. Okay, there's been no nothing pushed since the last time that I copied it. So if we do, we do that again without all the stuff. Git pull. Okay, so it's going out now and it's checking my version to the version that's on the GitHub server. Nothing up to date. If I do git branch, then you can see what branch I'm on. Right now I'm on the development branch, which maybe I don't want to be. There's probably a stable branch that I want to switch to. If I do git branch dash A, this shows me all of the different ones that they have. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe develop is okay here. So anyway, basically I can I can track any of these branches. So there is a release branch, for example. I could track it if I want to stay in, in stable. Um, but really the important thing here is git pull. So I can do a git pull just every so often to see if there's any new changes or even, you know, before every time that I use the software, maybe I want to use git pull to make sure that I always have the freshest version. Um, now package managers in Ubuntu or Debian, for example, apt, um, is really handy. Uh, the issue is, in the case of tools like SleuthKit, is that SleuthKit is not updated uh, very regularly, and I haven't found a PPA um, that that basically also uh, keeps the latest version up to date. This is this tends to be a little bit better, at least in my case. Um, so yeah, git pull. It's it's very easy to do. I wouldn't want to use this for all of the software that I have installed. So for example. 
um, a lot, some of the libraries that SleuthKit uh, is dependent on. I uh, install them via my package manager, and then I install the newest version of SleuthKit because I'm really interested in the SleuthKit features, um, and that could cause some problems, and I might need to install uh, some of those libraries manually later, but uh, this way has worked well for me. So this is a way to keep your software up to date uh, using GitHub. It's very handy. I recommend you doing it. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe for more.